Hi, I'm Shayla Vett with ChildCareLand.com and today I want to share with you a watermelon observation jar. This really makes a great addition to a science or a discovery center. You need to have a plastic container, a plastic jar. This I purchased at Walmart in the household cooking um, container section where they would have canisters and stuff like that and this is just plastic. And then you also need to have watermelon in, that you have sliced up. And what you do for this activity is you slice the watermelon and put it in your jar and then put the cover on. And then we talk about what the watermelon looks like um, and what changes the children think are going to happen to the watermelon over time. And then after we've done that, then we, we do an estimation activity. We can either graph or we can do surveys uh, as to how long the children think the changes to the watermelon, how long that's going to take. So, you know, some of the things that will happen to the watermelon is it's going to break down it's going to turn mushy and it's going to turn liquidy and because this is mostly a water-based um, product you know the changes will take place rather quickly they'll just kind of disintegrate and smush down in here and children really find that fascinating but it's kind of neat to see how it starts out like this um, and then what it really winds up as but it's a great activity again for a science center for a watermelon theme and great to add some real life uh, items in your classroom for a watermelon observation jar, I'm Shelly Levette with ChildCareLand.com, and thanks for watching.